Hi, it's Dr. Paul back in our kitchen. I'm going to show you one of the dishes we like to make for dinner. And it's a chicken Mediterranean, for lack of a better term. So um, we're going to start by melting some butter, about two tablespoons, a little bit more, of uh, some organic butter in a large stainless skillet. Notice that it's not nonstick. You hear me saying that over and over. Really important that uh, we don't use nonstick. Nonstick's toxic. That Teflon and those other chemicals end up in our bodies and cause cancer. So, um, so as this butter is melting, the first thing we're going to cook in here is shallots. So this is what a shallot looks like for if you've never used one before. They're kind of a cross between garlic and onion. They're sweeter than an onion and not as spicy as garlic. So I like to use them a lot. I use them in a lot of different dishes. Um, used a lot in French cooking for sure, for sure and, and some in uh, Italian cooking. So we're going to start by putting shallots in here. So I've chopped these up here. Had to peel the skin off of them and then chop them up. So I've got this over a medium heat, not too hot, but not too low either. I want it to, I want it to happen. And as soon as everything's kind of going in here, I'm going to put in boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And these are organic. I tend to like chicken thighs over chicken breasts because the thighs um, are the dark meat. They have more flavor. They're moister. And even though they're boneless and skinless, you'll see there's a little bit of fat on them which I love the flavor of and I think it makes it a lot better. I find chicken breasts to me end up, you know, they're kind of dry and they're not as flavorful. So notice how this is a nice big pan here. I can put a lot in here. I could probably even put more than this and cram it in here. I got this pan recently at uh, what was it, TJ Maxx or Marshall, one of those? Well, they're owned by the same company, so same place. Now, what I'm going to do is, well, let me go wash my hands for a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook these for about five minutes, maybe six minutes, on each side, I'm going to turn it. I'm going to put some sea salt. And black pepper. I like black pepper. I like fresh cracked pepper. This grinder is a little wimpy. A little finer than I like. I'd like it to be a little coarse, more coarse than this. But I find fresh cracked pepper really comes alive a lot more than just, you know, ground pepper that you buy already ground up. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to shut the camera off and just cook these for about five minutes on this side, flip them over for about five minutes, and then when I come back, we'll turn the camera back on and we'll show you how to finish this. It's really a simple dish, but super yummy and super delicious. Probably a gourmet dish uh, for many people, and it tastes fantastic. So we'll come back in just a minute. Okay, we're back. It, when we left, we were cooking the um, chicken thighs. So we cooked them about five minutes, five and a half, six minutes on one side and turned them over. So I'm gonna pull them off the, out of the pan now and just set them aside on a plate over here.
So now look in the pan here. We have this great mixture of, you know, the juices from cooking the chicken and the shallots that cooked in the butter to start with. Now, what I'm going to add is a little bit of sherry. If you don't have sherry, don't worry about it. You could put white wine in here, which I, um, I think I will. I was going to use some red wine, but I'm going to switch over. Just a little bit of sherry and a little bit of white wine. I'm kind of, I'm, notice I'm using now a metal spatula to kind of scrape everything that was stuck to the bottom of the pan from cooking the chicken. Now, for seasoning, well, let me add some uh, tomatoes to this. We usually will use four fresh tomatoes, organic tomatoes, chopped up, but we don't happen to have any tonight. And so we always have some backup in the cupboard, and these are organic uh, diced tomatoes from Trader Joe's. Real simple. And while that's coming to a boil, we're going to put about two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. You don't want to overdo that. You should always have Italian seasoning around. And I'm going to put a little bit extra of some oregano, just a couple little sprinkles of it. I'd, I'd probably put a little more oregano in too, I mean uh, margarine, but I don't have any. We're out of it right now. So just let that cook down a little bit. Now there's a couple different directions you can go at this point. Um, a lot of times we will add Kalamata, Kalamata olives, which are like a Greek or Italian type of olive. And we'll put those in here and um, finish it that way. But tonight I'm going to actually add a little bit of cream to this because my wife requested we make the cream sauce tonight. It's one of her favorites. So I'm going to skip the olives because I'm not sure if olives and cream would go well together. So I'm going to skip that. So a couple things I want you to, to be aware of is that if you don't have sherry, don't worry about it. If you don't have wine, don't worry about it. You can use white wine in replace of sherry. Just don't stress out if you don't have every single ingredient. The main thing that's making this really delicious is cooking the shallots and butter, cooking the chicken, pulling it out, and then adding, you could add tomatoes, um, <clears throat> you know, maybe some green onion. There's all sorts of things. Fresh basil would be really, really good in this right now if we had fresh basil, but we don't. So now I'm going to add some cream to this. This is heavy cream from Trader Joe's. So it's about probably half this container. So I think that's a cup, a cup of cream, eight ounces. And we're just going to let this cook for a bit. And this won't thicken like some cream sauces because the tomatoes are in there. It would take a long, long time of cooking this down and cooking it down to thicken. So just as it is right now, we're going to let it heat up and simmer just a little bit. And we're just going to serve this with the chicken just like it is. And it's just going to be fantastic. I might add a little bit more salt at this point because I salted the meat earlier. Um, and that's about it. So, feel, you know, don't don't be shy about experimenting. It's 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 really kind of hard to screw these things up. So I know you can do it. So thanks for joining me, and enjoy your dinner. Bye. Okay, so here's what the final dish turned out like after we served it up. I put it in bowls because the sauce is it's not real thick. And we got a nice green vegetable salad to go with it. Because every time you eat, you should be able to identify your protein, your plants, and your fat. And we have it all on this awesome dinner. Thanks again.